Hey everybody, I just realized that uh, in, in the Toyota dealer, or I shouldn't say I realized, but I saw, it looks like a brand new mini truck van, multi cab van. Don't know if it's a uh, proper multi cab van or not, but uh, since I did just a quick video here at the Toyota dealer before, I figured I'd come back and hit it up again. Yaris's that they are Vios's, I don't know what they call them. Now here we go, guys. This looks bigger than a mini truck. It's a little wider. This could be a newer model. This is a cargo model. But you could easily add seats to it. Well, let's see if a big ass American can drive it. Well, it feels roomy enough already. Oh yeah. Got a five speed here. I believe this one is a two wheel drive. Although they may sell it as a four wheel drive variant. I like the single big back window. Makes it easy to look through the mirror. Good large side mirrors. I actually like the panel van. It can be easily customized. I don't know what their price is. Doors on both sides. See, so it's a walkthrough. I assume they're manual doors. They seem to be working that way. I can find a salesman. I'll wait here. And it's showing the big van. I don't see this little one. Let me pause for a minute while I find a salesman. Okay, I got somebody tracking down a salesman. Thank I'm you, just gonna. Go ah. Sir, ah. he's the. Okay, thank you. Well, that didn't take long. I didn't even bother pausing. Hi, sir. How are you doing? Kenneth. Uh, what's your name? Kenneth. Kenneth? Yeah. That's my brother's name. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm sorry to tell you that. I'm curious about the van down there. Yeah. Okay. How, much, how much is that? It's around... The panel van. Yeah. And can that be purchased in a four-wheel drive? No, it's no. just four by two. It's only two-wheel drive. Yeah, two front wheel or rear? 600, yeah, front wheel. Front sir? wheel drive. It's only two-seaters. So we're only, only two-wheel drive. And uh, I believe he said front-wheel drive. Can you buy it in a passenger model? Yeah. No. No, it only comes this way. Yeah, this way. Okay. We have a passenger model. It's the FX. It's like a pickup truck uh, with seats at the back. So it's the same body size as this, but much, with... much bigger. Oh, it is a wider yeah, vehicle. Wider. Yeah, no, I like this because it's narrow. Um, what What does this run? Hmm? How much is it? How much is it? Six hundred ninety-five. Six hundred ninety-five. Yeah. Okay. And what size motor is it? One point three engine. A one point three four cylinder, three yeah. cylinder. Three, uh, four cylinder. Four cylinder. Okay. Is it turbocharged at all no. or anything? No. Okay. Not I assume it's fuel injected. Yeah, fuel injected. Okay. Front disc, drum, rear. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right, and what's your availability on these to get one? I mean, if, how, how often do you, do, you have, do you have to order them, or are they generally here available? It's generally here. We have lots of stocks. Oh, you have plenty one. of stock. Okay. Yeah. And what was the price you said again? Six hundred ninety-five thousand. Six ninety was seven hundred thousand. Yeah, okay. With uh, registration. That's with a year's yeah. registration. Okay. All right. Uh, oh my, we have.
Oh, it's showing the Supra there, but it, you don't have a Supra in here, yeah, do you? Yeah, we don't have a Supra. Oh, I've seen one in North Carolina before yeah. I came came over, and oh my God, it was one of the most beautiful cars I've yeah. ever seen. <laughs> they really they really outdid themselves this time with the yeah, Supra, yeah. yeah. And I've always liked the Supra. You're from North Carolina. I'm from Pennsylvania originally, Pennsylvania. but I was in North Carolina where I saw one, and I literally stopped and had to take pictures of it because it was just gorgeous, absolutely nah, okay. gorgeous. <laughs> and it was red like that. How long have you been here in the Philippines? Since November. Since November. No. And I'm stuck with just this right now. My oh. that, and I have a Rusi chariot as well. But uh, I saw this driving by. I have already did your dealership earlier, but mm -hmm. you didn't have that out here. I oh, thought yeah. it was the uh, mini truck. It's so wider than the little mini trucks are. Uh, there's a lot of guys that like the uh, what you guys call multi cabs. We call it a, we call that a mini truck in the U.S. And uh, saw this, and I thought, well, no, I gotta come and take a quick look and show it on the on the blog. The best thing about this one is two doors. Yeah, yeah, and you can easily throw back seats and windows into the side doors. It wouldn't be hard. If you can to see add you windows can to the. Can install chairs here. Yeah. It would be best. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, I liked it. I liked the idea of it. I've been wanting a four-wheel drive version of the yeah. van now, but uh, so I'm probably gonna end up with one of the little mini trucks eventually if I find a good one. Mm -hmm. But. Uh, Trick is to find a good one. Yeah. Let's face it, there's scrap metal from Japan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you can take a turd and polish it, but it's still a turd, right? Yeah. No, okay, so <laughs> you're, you're, you're throwing the dice when you buy one that you get a good one. You know, because their warranties are like, I just stopped at one place, some big outfit out of Cebu that sells them down here. Mm -hmm. And you get a 30 day warranty, and it's motor and tranny only. Mm -hmm. So, you know. It, 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 you're looking for a 4x4? Four four? You don't uh, want to pick up. Well, for me, yeah, I don't want to pick. I want small. Small car. Uh, I want the van model because I have a dog. Yeah. And how they chop the back end off, I actually wouldn't do it that way. Mm -hmm. I would just literally wall it off, okay. not take the back end off. Just take the windows out mm -hmm. and put cage over the window so that I could put the dog in there. And if I get to a store where I can't bring the door again, I can leave her in the car. Yeah. And that's what that's about. And then nobody, and I got a very cute little Shih Tzu puppy, which will fit in somebody's pocket. Yeah. <laughs> so if they want to steal her, they're just going to pick her up and gone. She's, literal, she's literally that long. You have a Shih Tzu and? Just a Shih Tzu. Yeah, right Shih Tzu. Now. But uh, hopefully I'll have another little Shih Tzu or something to go with it later because she needs a buddy. Yeah. But right now we, we're stuck. We can't get another <laughs> dog where we're at. Do you have any of the, the inexpensive the car that you sell here? Was it a Yaris or a Wego or something? Do you we have don't one have of those? that one. On you don't have any yeah. on stock right now. But we have the raised one, the yellow one there. What's the least expensive thing you have on the shelf right now that you can show me? The Vios. It's an, uh, a sedan. Uh, you have one here? Yeah, Let's have. take a look at it real quick. Is it more money than this? Yeah. Huh. Uh, so that's actually the cheapest thing you can buy. Yeah, that's what it might be the cheapest brand new thing in New Mexico you can buy. This one. Right, here we go. This one. Oh, this is the, the lowest price. Yeah, next to the And this is still just front wheel drive, right? Yeah. And it's automatic. Yeah, automatic. Very nice, not bad. Feels, deeps feel a little hard, but it's the side of the seat that I'm pushing on. Hard to get back far enough to get a good view of this. What's this little yellow thing you got here? Yeah, this one, the Raze. What are they called? Raze. A Raze? Raze. Is this four-wheel drive? Nah, uh, two -wheel. Oh. I like little four-wheel drive, like the Suzuki uh, Jimmy's. I really like them quite a bit. We have used cars there. Oh, yeah? The, we have the Jimmy. Oh, you have a Jimmy yeah. here? Okay. Let's, let's take a look at your used Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah, here we go, guys. This is, these are one of the nicer vehicles to buy here, these Jimmy's. Because of how they're how big they are in the four wheel drive. Let me pause till we get out there. Okay, we're out here at the Jimmy. And what's the price of this one? Uh, let me check with our appraisal appraisal officer. 
This is a used Jimmy. Now, is this cer is this certified through Toyota at yeah, all? Or? Toyota. Okay, so it's a certified Toyota deal. It does seem like it needs a little bit of paint work done on its bumpers. And it needs to be cleaned. Seats look okay from what I can see FD. from... These are a place where on the American uh, trackers and Suzuki goes bad. Six thousand, six hundred, six hundred sixty-seven. Huh? Six hundred seventy. Ah. You know what the mileage? Six hundred seventy thousand. Oh, six hundred seventy thousand. You know what the mileage is? No, let me. We're gonna look at the mileage here. I assume you clean it before you sell it, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think your battery's dead. I think the battery's dead. Uh, it's been sitting there, the battery's probably dead. Well, we can't find out the mileage, you guys. But <laughs> otherwise, it doesn't look too bad. It's really hard to judge how the first owner took care of it. Although, to be honest with you, it doesn't look like they took real good care of it. Uh, looking at the condition it's in with the bump up bumpers and such and the tires are in better shape than the one down the street uh, he's working on trying to figure out how to get it started but let's see we're at 11 minutes anyway okay well that's good enough uh, thank you very much. And okay. Your name again is Kenneth. 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 Yeah, Just like your brother. Ignorant seen. brother. Name. <laughs> my brother tried to put me in jail before I got on a plane to get here. <laughs> didn't do him any good. Then he tried to screw me up with my visa. Didn't do him any good with that either. <laughs> but he thought he did. <laughs> yeah. Well, you have a good day, and thank, thank you me. very much. And there you go, guys. Uh, is this Dumaguete Toyota or yeah, Toyota Dumaguete? How do you say it? Toyota Dumaguete City. Toyota Dumaguete City, uh, and they're just up the road from the airport. They have quite a bit of stock here, a uh, bunch of used cars and new. You can get a certified Toyota here, uh, which probably means that all the paperwork's legit, you know, to worry about that sort of thing. And um, there you go, guys. Toyota.